The tense standoff between the state of Texas and the federal government at the southern border, it continues. The state appearing to stand against the feds, processing migrants packing a border town park in the community of Eagle Pass. Our Olivia Leach sitting down today with an immigration attorney to break down what all this essentially means and what's next in this ongoing battle. The battle at the border has reached a boiling point. No, we, we have never seen at the point that we are right now where we have the Texas National Guard, uh, agents from DPS, uh, basically blocking entrance uh, and taking authority uh, or control of the border. On Monday, the Supreme Court said the federal government has the authority to remove razor wire that Texas installed at the southern border. Homeland Security said Texas had until Friday to give federal authorities access to Eagle Pass. But Governor Abbott is doubling down, saying he'll increase state patrol of the border, adding more barriers and more razor wire. Haim Vasquez, an immigration attorney, has been watching these developments closely. So we are a very critical issue right now because we're testing really the essence of the Republic of the United States and whether or not the Supreme Court um, has authority, whether states have to uh, abide. On Friday, Attorney General Ken Paxton refused the federal government's request for access to the border and demanded proof that the federal government has authority to turn a Texas park into a port of entry. The, the federal government decides what ports of entry are, and that's how determinations are made. Vasquez says we'll have to wait and see who takes action next. If the federal government back downs from this, they completely will lose the authority they have on Supreme Court precedent. 25 Republican governors have backed Governor Abbott's stance. They say Texas has the constitutional right to self-defense. Governor Abbott says he believes those states would be willing to send troops to the border if needed. I, I think that we are right now crossed the line of trying to fix the problem and make and now they're making it a political issue. In Dallas, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas. This all comes, of course, as a bipartisan group of senators have reportedly reached a deal on federal immigration reform and southern border security. Details still limited. However, sources say it would give the president more power to significantly restrict illegal immigration. However, it would also speed up the asylum process to consider cases within six months. Right now, that can take up to 10 years. The full deal is expected to unveil, be unveiled next week.